Hi, in this video we will look at how the different hydrocarbons found in crude oil are obtained by fractional distillation. If you need any further help then please click the links in the description below. Crude oil is a thick black liquid which is a mixture of many dissolved solids, liquids and gases. Now, crude oil can be extracted from under the sea or on land. However, despite being a valuable natural resource, it is almost useless in its raw state simply because it is a mixture. Now, crude oil is a mixture of thousands of compounds, mainly hydrocarbons and alkanes in particular, such as methane, ethane, propane, butane and larger molecules such as hexane and decane and even very large hydrocarbon molecules with over 35 carbon atoms in them are found in substances such as bitumen and waxes. Now small hydrocarbon molecules such as methane and ethane have very low boiling points, but as the molecules get larger their boiling points increases. We can use the technique of fractional distillation to separate out a mixture of substances with different boiling points into parts or fractions which contain molecules with similar boiling points. To separate out the different parts or fractions found in crude oil, the crude oil undergoes a process called fractional distillation at the oil refinery. Here the oil enters a hot pipe inside a furnace where it is heated to high temperature. This causes most of the hydrocarbons in the crude oil to turn into gases or vapours. These hot gases or vapours then enter a tall, narrow, fractionating column. Now this fractionating column has a temperature gradient, which simply means that it is hot at the bottom and gets cooler as you near the top of the column. Inside the fractionating column are a series of bubble caps. These look a little like chimney pots. Now each of these layers of bubble caps is at a slightly different temperature. The bubble caps get cooler the higher they are in the fractionating column. Now the hot vapours from the furnace enter the fractionating column and begin to rise up the column. The vapours will rise until they meet a bubble cap cooler than their boiling point. At this moment the vapours will then condense and turn back into liquids which are collected. You can see from the image on screen that many valuable substances are obtained such as petrol, diesel and liquid petroleum gases. Now each of these fractions contains a mixture of hydrocarbon molecules with similar boiling points. Large hydrocarbon molecules such as bitumen, tar, grease and waxes do not fully vaporise in the furnace and these hydrocarbons simply run to the bottom of the fractionating column and are collected. Similarly, very small hydrocarbon molecules such as methane, ethane, propane and butane do not condense in the fractionating column and these gases, called liquid petroleum gases, are collected at the top of the column. We can summarise this whole process by saying that in the fractionating column, large hydrocarbon molecules are collected at the base of the column and as you rise up the column, the hydrocarbon molecules in each fraction get smaller and smaller. <laughs> 